Ozzy here, back again to give you another tool for your toolbox. This time we're going to make columns. Took this one from a couple of posts on Reddit. A gentleman by the name of Judea posted a great way to do cylinders, and I just I really enjoyed it. So we're going to make some columns today, similar to the arch thing from Commissar Gridmark. <clears throat> I like this scale. So let's shift tab and get the terrain all set up off the ground. There, I have a circle of stone. I'm going to grab the selection tool, put it in the middle. I'm going to grab a cross section just like we did last time for the for the arches. It needs to cover the entire sphere in the middle. Grab around here. Is that my that is too much. There we go, and it's roughly the center. So I'm going to press Control C to copy it. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to press Control V to paste it. Now, the, an important element here is because my mouse is over the selection area, when I start adding these, it's going to move because my mouse is moving with the selected area and you're going to end up with a column that looks stupid. So what you want to do is you want to move it such that your mouse is in a static location relative to the selection place. So now when I start adding up, up, up. I scroll up, but my mouse is not moving, which means it makes a perfectly straight column. And obviously you can do this one at a time, or you can then use your selection tool now that you have a column. And again, I've got to get it to fit the whole thing. Move up. Let's move up two to get rid of that little glitch I have on the bottom. We'll scroll you to there. We'll scroll you to there. Got the whole column. Then I will grab to the, uh, about there. Now I can press Control C, and I can put those put those down anywhere I want. But I'm also going to save this to my templates, so I have it to use later. But now I can come over here and do Control V, and I can lay down columns, or I can lay down columns. And like for example, if I want to get a really tall column, let's get off of that, and let's get my get, get it off my mouse, and then go click, click. You get the idea. And I like this intricate stone. Obviously, you can paint them any texture you want. You can play around with different radiuses of circles so that you can have a a fat wide bottom um, with the narrower columns. Have fun with this. As I find more tips, I will make more videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Stealing that from Vsauce, I probably shouldn't do that. Take care.